yeah thank you chintan yeah so uh, hello and welcome everybody to my talk so my talk as already chintan mentioned that uh, about running new 4j in docker and deploying new 4j application in openshift so actually there was some technical glitch that is why i am not able to share my screen so chintan uh, is sharing the screenshot and and the ppt so chintan can you go to the next slide Uh, it is an uh, it is about the next slide only not uh, the screenshot okay yeah so uh, before that i just want to give my uh, short introduction because i don't want to waste your time so i am a software engineer in zf india and i mainly work in neo 4j docker openshift uh, api development microservices and all so that's brief about me and i hope you will enjoy the session and you will find some take away from it so let's start uh, for the next slide can you go yeah. to the next slide chintan yes yeah. so payal uh, the key that i have received from you i am not able to go to the next slide so maybe we can skip presentation part and you can just give a talk about your content uh, and okay. just give just try to give a glimpse because we we only have a, far, a few minutes left so maybe you can okay. give a glimpse and we can have a separate session post this notes event for this okay 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 yep. so uh, basically i have splitted all my talk about uh, in three agendas one first is uh, how to deploy your new 4j application in openshift so first what we will do we will deploy our new 4j in openshift and we will run it as a different service and then we will uh, deploy our fast API application. Actually, it is a Python development where I am using Neo4j as a backend database. I will fetch data from Neo4j. I will save data in the Neo4j. So that's all about my application. So I, I have not discussed more about the development here. I had created a very basic uh, application where I am using only two crude operation. One is create, another one is read operation in create operation i will save data in database in your 4j database and in read operation i will fetch it from it and you could you can find my source code in my github link i i have provided so after this uh, session i will share all the links and the details all the source code github link everything so it will be helpful to uh, see and then uh, so what we will do in the new 4j so uh, in if if actually i'm not able to sh uh, share my screen so it will be difficult for me to uh, share the source code as well so in my source code if you see that there is some pod.yml and uh, and a service.yml file which i will use to create the pod and service in the uh, open shift so in uh, so uh, i have few things already in my uh, beforehand in my local what I will use to deploy in OpenShift. So first thing is that I need the source code, the fast API application. I need Neo4j browser. I need uh, OpenShift. I, I should have access. If you don't have, don't worry. You can, uh, uh, you can subscribe for trial version in OpenShift container platform. And next is you should have OpenShift client installed in your local. So first, uh, so to uh, deploy Neo4j in OpenShift, first you need to log in in the OpenShift client using OC login command, and then you can. Uh, and okay, so and after that you can run the pod YML uh, file to create pod, and you can use the service dot YML file to create service. Once both things are created first the pod and the service the service should be in running state in in openshift you can easily see it and then and after that you can uh, try to uh, deploy your open your uh, fast api application in openshift so for that you need to change some uri what uh, you will create uh, in the new 4j uh, while deploying new 4j in openshift so you need to change the user id password and uri and after that you can easily uh, deploy the openshift uh, the fast api application in openshift so so uh, for so to deploy your application uh, in openshift first you need to create the image from the docker file that i have in my source code 
so using that docker file you will create the uh, image easily and after that you can publish it in the docker hub so docker hub is similar to github kind of things it is a repository system where you can host your image and once your image is there in the docker hub you can use it to create to deploy it in the openshift very easily so uh, and after deploying you can see that both service will run uh, separately but they can communicate each other so that is the first thing that i had done in my presentation and second talk is neo4j in docker it is a very simple query uh, you can easily find in the neo4j uh, document so it is just a, a docker run command and you can easily run neo4j in docker so what is the point why we are doing uh, uh, the deployment in docker or openshift so openshift uh, is a containerization it mainly provides a cloud based container platform so where you can easily deploy develop and manage your application so you don't because as of now my application is in my local so you cannot access it so to access it externally you need to deploy it somewhere so that you can access it so that's the main thing that i had described in my talk and docker is also the similar thing you can easily run your neo4j in docker so that it is not uh, dependent uh, on your system you can uh, other mm -hmm. people also can see it very easily so Hi, yeah that's all sorry to yeah. interrupt but yeah i mean yeah, yeah. we are already out of time but yeah i mean thank you so yeah, much yeah. for covering uh whatever you could cover and uh i mean i hope you can uh, you can share the uh share your get report link and the presentation yeah. to us and we will be providing us to the participants so then uh, so that they don't miss out on the actual content and we can run the same uh session one more time post this nodes event but thank you so much for your time and uh, have a nice day ahead bye-bye yeah yeah thank you bye-bye